Hello, everybody. My name is Armando. I am the Strong by Zumba instructor and wellness coordinator here at T3 Body and Zanitas, where we tighten, tactical, and transition your life. This is video number five and the last one for this week as we will have our fearless leader back here with us uh, from Alaska uh, next week. So first of all, I want to thank you all for those of you that watched, listened, that reached out to me. It actually meant a lot as I get uh, really nervous in front of a camera. Any a crowd to me is anything more than just me and a camera that includes a camera. I'm officially crowded right now. <laughs> Um, but we've talked a lot about the stuff this week, uh, from motivation, nutrition, and community. And what I realized that through all this, you, it's hard to do any of that until you, well, as you know, as Miss RuPaul says it, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love anybody else? Remember, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Can I get an amen? <laughs> And that stands true because no matter how much you want to change until you yourself are ready for that, until you learn to get past those hurdles of self-doubt, self-deprecation, and everything that is in your head, it's you can't ever take that first step. It's so hard to do it. And I've spent so much time myself, trust me, putting myself down and telling myself I'm not worth it, that I'm just going to be fat my whole life, that I'm not worthy of having friends, that I'm not that I just don't deserve it. But that is not true. Everyone deserves that help. Everyone deserves to be better, to get be to better themselves. If you want to change, make that change. And that's what all this is about. Because it has it has less to do with how thin you are or how big you are or how much muscle or how no muscle you have that none of that matters. What matters is that you're healthy. I, I've seen a lot and I am in no way knocking it down because I myself that way. When you see a lot of posts, that size doesn't matter as long as you're happy. And yes, that is true to an extent. Size doesn't matter. I know people that are like 100 pounds and completely out of shape. I know people that are over 250, 300 pounds and that can move better than I can. They have awesome moves. They dance better and they're actually healthy. It's just a matter of fact that they're just bigger or they're smaller. So size, yes, that doesn't matter. And, but the one thing is you don't want to falsify yourself that, yes, I'm happy, but I'm not healthy. I'm not taking care of myself. That's the one thing. I don't care what your size is. I don't care where what your athletic build is. As long as you're healthy, that's what takes it. And to get to that point, you have to look inside of yourself and understand that I ha you got to love yourself. Or at the very least, like yourself. I know a lot of people that don't even like themselves, that get to the point where they think so little of themselves or they, they there's that self-deprecation talk, which I've had a lot in my life. You can ask anyone. You can ask my brother and my friends. I was very self-deprecating because I, I, I had to be everyone to the punch. I had to make sure that I made myself because I'm fat, because I'm gay, because I wore glasses, because I was really dark-skinned because I wasn't a son a lot or I wasn't dark enough or I wasn't Mexican enough. or doesn't matter. I always beat everyone to the punch because I was afraid of what they would say. And it wasn't until I st started to stop doing that that I realized nobody cared. Nobody was actually doing any of that. Yeah, a random stranger may do an off comment, may say a racial slur, which unfortunately I've dealt with. But I don't care. Who does that person have any value on me as a person? This is me. And I know it can be hard. And I know that you can have a thousand compliments from a thousand different people, and that feels great, but you get that one off comment those pants make you look fat. Oh, that color is really not for you. Why do you look off today? You look tired. You look, and that one comment can make you spin. And, and I know it's hard and I know you have to try and fight that, but it is something that you have to learn to just say, screw it. This is you. This is for you. This is your own self love. I'm not talking about dirty things, but this is your own self love that you have to find. And a lot of people don't find it or they say that they do. I spent most of my life when people are asking, how are you doing? It's like, I'm fabulous. I'm fantastic. I'm doing great. Don't care to me. But that was just repeating it because I always heard, you know, say it till you make it. Fake, sorry, fake it till you make it. And I believe that. And in times it can be true. But not when it comes to loving yourself. You have to find a way to knock down those walls, push out those demons, or at least quiet them down a little bit. You know, I got too many things going on up here, but I, I try and get them down a little bit. 
And and know it's a struggle because I still struggle with it to actually – there are times when I don't think I'm worth it. There are times when I'm here every day. I am at my other job five times a week. I bust my butt, and there are times where I just sit there and I'm like – is it worth it? Do why can't I just I, I just want to go back to eating. I just want to be fat again. It was easier. I locked myself in my room. I didn't have to deal with people. It was so much easier. But it wasn't. You can tell yourself it was easier. You can tell yourself that not hanging out with your friends some the majority of the time, you could tell yourself that, you know, eating bad, whatever, that's just your life. It's how it is. But it's not. You have to find that community. You have to think about your nutrition and your health. And it's not about finding that motivation. It's knowing that this is something that you have to do. This is your health. This is your life. And I can't tell you what to do. I can tell you what, like I ever, I've I said all this before, I can tell you what works for me and what I've seen has worked for others. But don't let yourself wander off your own path. Don't let yourself think that you're not worth it. So you're going to go down the easier path because Trying is hard. Trying for yourself is even harder. And uh, sorry, I just trying. Like I said, trying is hard. <laughs> and even this, putting this out there and trying to reach someone and to have people understand that you are worth it. But you have to believe that no matter how many people tell you, doesn't matter what they say. My brother can tell me he loves me. My mom, my dad, my friends, my family, everyone. They can love me. They can care about me. They can support me in every single way. But unless I believe it and I think that I'm worthy of it, it's it's going to go to waste. You know, I'm not saying they should stop. You should always keep trying. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, shucks. Trying is hard. <laughs> going to say that a lot because I'm going to repeat it. Trying is hard. It is that one step that is very, very difficult because you're changing yourself. We as humans are creatures of habit and making that change, turning that around is very, very difficult. But you have to do it if you want to. Um, if you don't want to, you uh, then that's you. I'm not going to force you to do it. I'm going to tell you that you have to live a certain way. No, you have to figure out what truly makes you happy and not what you tell yourself that makes you happy. You know, I like working hard and I, I like admin work and I like working in the back. But even my brother has said before when I, I like baking and I, you know, I just really like baking. And he's told me before when I was in the zone and I, I think I was making, what was it? Cookies or something. I don't even know what I was making. Something simple. Oh, it's like a little cookie with like a little Hershey's kiss in the middle and, you know, melts in there and it tastes awesome. Uh, <laughs> But he he had stopped and I was doing it and he's all like, you actually like baking, don't you? And I was like, yeah, why? He's all like, you just have this calm, like serene aura look about you right now. And I never realized that I do love doing that. And that's something that I love about myself. It's the simple things that you just find the small things that you love about yourself and then goes into the bigger things. But don't mask it with, oh, yeah, because I'm great fantastic i'm awesome you see this you see how many friends i have on instagram on facebook do you see how many did it love yourself not what you're doing around you no, you have to love yourself in order to love what you do in order to love going out there and doing more for yourself in order to change because once again i will say it trying is hard all right but never stop trying never stop moving forward don't get complacent don't ever think you're not worthy of love so much that you'll hide yourself away and then and you'll just ignore yourself all right you're not an npc non-player character campaigns dnd pathfinder all that fun stuff you're not an npc you are a hero you are heroine you are hell if you're the villain you're the villain fine doesn't matter find out who you are and love that person all right and i'm gonna leave you with that no i hope to see you guys again soon uh, if you have any questions, if you want to reach out, if you want to talk, I'm here. Uh, I have an Instagram. I have a Facebook. I have an email. I have all that fun stuff. Or you can go through T3 Body and Sanitas, and then uh, someone here will be able to let me know. Because um, just remember, my motivation will inspire you to believe it better. Thank you so much, guys. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Oh. 
Oh my God, guys, you, uh, okay. So he just told me this and I'm super excited about it. Remember at the very first video where I was talking about like, you don't just start and then there's a montage and then you're instantly where you're supposed to be. I love my little brother, Esteban Calleja, uh, what is it, ECAL9, I believe is his, and Ships Canning, by the way, he does his own podcast as well. I'm so happy, he's great at what he's doing. He actually made me a montage. And so, right after this, Esteban, love you, roll it! <laughs> For my life. <laughs> Play it safe. I might play a little dirty someday. And I'm following faith. They say I'm the chosen one. Well, I know what it takes to be a king. I be the song everybody wanna sing. I bring harmony and be the chosen one. Now, as he's coming through, he's thinking about looking up at the horizon. Ain't nothing gonna stop this. Ain't nothing gonna stop this fire. Body, you guys, is a company and a fitness company that really talks about the complete athlete. When I talk about our motivation inspires you to be better, all right, as a non-for-profit that, suffer, that supports military veterans that suffer from mental health issues, I really enjoy the support you guys are giving me here on YouTube. But again, I am seeking clients on my T3 body. So if you go ahead and take, take a look at my website, understand that the intimacy of getting to know you starts with just 30 minutes motivation. So you go in there, you sign up for one of those, you get a one-on-one -on -one remote talk with me just like this. Then I encourage you to go and look at one of my training plans, download a four to eight week training plan and really kind of just test your body, uh, test yourself and just really start to get yourself ready to then do the next thing is where you get four or five of your friends together and dare yourself to be better. Where there you have a little bit more of my uh, information along with my training plan. You get some remote sessions with me regardless of where you're at. You notice if you're watching me on YouTube right now, you, you could see my, you can hear my voice and I can train you. All right. And and that 45-day dare is a great way to just see and challenge yourself to really do the final thing is become a member. Being a member with me is a commitment, and it's made for the, for just an elite amount of people. So when I talk about membership here, I really talk about a, a really you know elite group of individuals who really understand our core values of God, country, family, and really live by and have really adopted where our motivation inspires them to be better. So I wanted to touch on that, you guys, and really – Use that so that individuals like yourself who are getting better and inspiring others that understand that, you know what, we do need your support to keep everything going.